Hi there, good morning. It's Claire from Clarified Creations and welcome to a morning routine for my clinical rotation. Yes, Christmas is in the background. It's officially that time of year. Just a little moose for Christmas. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a junior nursing student at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And yeah, I am very tired, if you can't tell. I always start by waking up at five o'clock because clinicals are at eight. So the first thing I do when I get up is obviously I wake up and then I'm gonna be reading this book. It's my devotional and it's just a page a day. So that's how I'm gonna start my morning. So I just read my devotional, so now I'm actually going to get out of bed and I'm going to go to my chair and I'm going to read my Bible for a little bit. I try and do this every morning, but I'll be realistic with you guys. Sometimes I am just so tired that all I manage to read is my devotional. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go there and then I'm going to read some of the Bible verses it recommended in here and just kind of see where it takes me. <music> to show you guys how many alarms I set in the mornings. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at all that. So obviously not all of them are for clinicals, but I have one around 5, 515, 525, 530, 539. So definitely I set a lot just to make sure I get up. Now I'm going to head to put in my contacts in and brush my teeth, kind of get a little bit more ready. Because I'm going to be at the hospital for around eight hours today, I'm definitely going to need to put on some lotion. So I just have this Cetaphil deep hydration lotion. And this is going to be for my face so it doesn't get all dried out because, you know, hospitals are cold and I want my face to not be cracked, especially because it's getting colder. Gonna get dressed into my scrubs. The night before, I always lay out what I'm gonna need. And then, because it is always so cold in the hospital, I've definitely gotta have this under scrub shirt. And this is what keeps me warm, because if I didn't have this, guys, I would be freezing. I kinda honestly still am freezing, even with the top, but at least it cuts the chill off a little bit. And then lastly, I've got a pair of beautiful looking compression socks. Let's get out of these comfy, cozy pajamas and actually start looking like a nursing student. We got the finished OOTD. We just have these gray Cherokee scrubs, these gray Cherokee pants, and then this white, uh, probably Cherokee under scrub shirt. Thanks for watching guys. I'm just kidding. It's currently 5.52, so it is that time that I have to do my hair. And if you're wondering what I do with it, I know a lot of nursing students will make their hair look cute and braid it. Me, on the other hand, I'm kind of more simplistic and I don't have the patience to fix it. You don't need to be a perfectionist in nursing school when you have a limited amount of time. So I'm just gonna throw it up in a high ponytail because it is not that long. It used to be all the way down past the middle of my back, but I recently got 10 inches cut off. If you wanna watch that vlog, I'll leave an I card up here. But yeah, so just gonna put it up in a high ponytail so it's out of my face. And some professors want you to put it up in a bun, but where my hair is still kinda short, I can't do that yet. So ponytail will work, cause it definitely won't go anywhere. I mean, it's short enough that it's not gonna get in the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and get my lunch and then go out the door because it is six o'clock now and this is around the time I leave. I know it sounds so early. I got my jacket, my backpack, 
And I do also have my name badge. I'm not forgetting that. But I'll put it on later because I don't really need to put it on yet. Two hours before I go in the hospital. So I'm just going to grab my phone, go downstairs. And I need to warm up my car too because my dad texted and told me there's frost on it. He always leaves super early in the morning. So he'll sometimes tell me if there's frost on my car. And it takes about 10 minutes to warm up. So while that's happening, I'll just put my lunch together and show you guys what I packed. You guys, my car looks like an ice cube. It's crazy. I'm going to go and show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's so dark. Okay. So, yeah. Ignore the shadow, but this is what the car is completely frosted over. What? Even the windows. Yeah, or mirrors. That's a mirror. Pure ice. Since I'm definitely not going anywhere anytime soon, I'm trying to speak kind of quietly because my mom's sleeping over there. I've got my lunchbox and inside it, I got a whole thing of sun chips. There's not that many in here and I couldn't find any bags. Figured let's just not waste bags and bring the whole thing, right? Some hockeys because I love these things and I'm gonna probably share it with my clinical group and see if they've ever tried them. If you guys have never tried pockies, definitely should. They're really good and addicting. It's not really bounce meal here guys. This theme is not healthy <laughs> but some oranges. This is actually kind of healthy. Got that vitamin D and all the nutrients. A giant slice of pizza. It's the size of my head. <laughs> I mean guys look at these slices of pizza. Can you see that? They're huge. One is definitely enough for me. It's plenty. And then last but not least, I got my cup of water because I need water to survive. Everybody needs water to survive, obviously. But when you're in the hospital, you should definitely drink more water. I'm a poor example of that. But, you know, the thought is there and that's all that counts. In the car and it's pretty much defrosted and only took about 15 minutes and I know the lighting is terrible but that's kind of what you get with overhead lighting sometimes. I'm gonna go to the hospital now and if I have time I'm gonna go to Starbucks too because it's my last clinical of the semester and I thought I could reward myself a little bit so I'm gonna go get a coffee. Hi guys, I'm at the hospital. I got a hot latte with just two stevias. It is just a little bit past seven. I usually get here pretty early because you never know with traffic. Yesterday, my commute time added another 20 minutes because of traffic. For a little fun surprise, peanut butter, Nature Valley. Love these things, they're really, really good. And I always like to eat a little bit before I come into the hospital. That way I'm not hungry during my shift and I can just kind of focus on patients and not be just really hungry because nobody likes being hungry. So my routine when I get here normally consists of me eating some breakfast and I also just listen to music. And if I have time, I'll study my pharmacology because I have an exam on Monday and it's currently Friday, November, 19th wow it is november 19th you guys and i can't believe that my last clinical rotation is almost over today's my last day for junior year first semester please excuse the wire that's my camera i can't really do much about it but i'm going to start assembling everything in my pocket so i've got chapstick that is a very important essential got my gum because i've learned that i am re-addicted to gum again. A care plan, and let me tell you guys, this care plan is five pages long. It's crazy how long it is, but I got that done last night and I need my instructor to look over it and make sure it's good. So place that in the pocket here too. I'll put my stethoscope around my neck. Pretty much it. I gotta put my watch on because you're not allowed to have Apple watches, unfortunately, but I'll get also my pens some shears. I'm actually going to switch pockets to put this one in here. And yeah, we should be pretty much all good to go. Thank you all so much for watching my morning routine. If I can, I'll try and insert a couple clips, but if not, I'll see you guys later. Bye!